Welcome back to part four of the XL500 rebuild. I just installed this tar. I'm going to show you how to balance it. I'll just... Just let her find the heavy spot should go at the bottom. So I got an ounce of weight to her stick on. I'm just going to stick it on here. I'm going to go side to side. Another half ounce. There you go. Perfect. Yep. There you go. Well, I'm going to buy some uh, fishing weights and uh, get one ounce and stick them on the... Uh, on these spokes. The shocks here are a little uh, corroded since it's a 1979. <laughs> I'm just going to try this uh, soft brush here. I'm going to go over it a little bit. There's there, about 15 minutes. do not look too, too bad. I'm going to use 400 grit uh, wet sandpaper. I'm going to go over it a little bit. It looks pretty good right there, actually. So I went over with 1500 grit on top of that. I mean, it, it's not showroom polish. I don't want that on my shocks because I would spend all day on, on it. You know, so it looks pretty smooth there, enough for me. I'm just going to run a little metal, metal polish on it. Just standard metal polish. Man, that turned out too good. It didn't take long either. I didn't think it, it was going to turn out like that, that that easy, but it is aluminum. Now I'm going to just clean it here. And then, uh, it will corrode again. But I'm going to put a little coat of a ceramic wax on it. I'll slow it down a bit for... I'm turn it really good. I like it. All right, I'm gonna put the stem bearings in. This was missing. Put the washer, and then the seal, and then the, that on. I took it off my old XL 250 here. Stick. All right, I got the bearings there. 18 of them and 18 there. I greased the bottom race nice and easy. And then I grease this top race. There you go. I'm tie it up a little bit here. Up there, and I find one of them. I'm tighten that up, and she's. Just... Yeah, I quickly clean the sides of what you see, make it a little shiny. Anyway, put this all in here.
I'm going to buff these out just a little bit to make them shine a little bit more. Enough for me. Front fender on here. Chain on here. I bought this O ring chain on eBay. Nice. Put it on. The standard length of a chain for an XR500 in 1979 is 100 lengths. So I counted and I got to cut it right here. So there's two ways about it. You get a special tool and press, or you can grind this down and punch it out. I'm just going to show you how to grind it down and, uh, and punch the, the pin out. Now you put the stuff on the handlebars here. The switch here. The sanded the paint off here with the throttle, so it makes it a little smaller. No interference. We'll turn. have grip for that yet I'm gonna order set a bit of speedometer cable here I took this all out and I lubed it all up and put it back in No brake cable, they're a little rusty here. Let's clean it up a bit. Okay, give it a little light coat of paint here. Put the brake cable in here. For the clutch cable, get those in here. No. I like to set my clutch about an inch play here. I backed off the uh, the brake cable so I can hook it up. There we go. Okay. Right. Tighten it right there. In the mirror, I want this spike to be legal for the road. So I'm going to put one mirror and one horn. I'll adjust it later. All right, it's the end of uh, part four of uh, this XL500 rebuild. Uh, if you could subscribe to my channel, click below. Thank you for watching.